Hi everyone, Grey Power 60 here. Um, so a few of you had asked me if I was going to demo this uh, alcohol kit with the little booklet. And so I thought I would do that today. Um, yeah, so it's going to be new for me and new for you. I've done a couple of these applications before, but not the way they've mentioned it in the book. So let's go with the booklet. So in the, in the package, if you recall, I got a, uh, a block plate here. I got some stamps. I got some cardstock, which is almost like photo, photo cardstock in here. Um, I don't know how many. I do like this cover, so I'll keep that. So I've got one, two, three, four, five. So let's see how many we've got. One, one, two, three, four. Okay. Um, I put the clip on here because it's French on this side, being Canada. We have uh, bilingual uh, booklets. Anything sold in Canada has to be biling, biling. Okay, so we've got four, which gives me one extra one. Um, hold on a sec. I'm going to pull up. I think I have some photo, five by seven photo uh, card stock. And I want to kind of test it and see, um, because this is Tim Holtz card stock with the glossy side, which looks like photo mat to me. So hold on a sec, let me see if I have it. I should have been better prepared, I'm not. <laughs> um, and we'll continue. Hey, okay, I don't, I searched high and low. I thought I had a package of them. Uh, they could be hiding in a box somewhere. Who knows where it could be. All right, so let's get started on our little booklet here. So, um, as you know, I got three inks, a uh, red pepper, a uh, sunshine yellow, and stream, which is a blue. Here is a uh, mixative, it's gold. I don't know how much you have to shake it because you don't know how long it's been sitting in there. But anyway, that's the gold. And this is alcohol blending solution. I also have this black soot uh, mini distress ink. Here are the stamps. Might as well get those ready as well. So I'm doing this for the first time with you guys. I mean, I've done this process on other paper, but not with uh, the Tim Holtz stuff. Okay, here's the paper. So we'll take one paper. Uh, we've got the blending tool and the applicators. And I think we're all set. Now, let's see how far up I am. I'm wondering how close I can get to you guys so that you can see it properly. I guess you don't need to see. Um, sorry, I'm adjusting as we go. Now, let's see, is that paper? Okay, okay. All right, I think we're close enough. So let's go to the first one. A gates. A gates. I'm assuming that's what that says. A gates. Step one. Adhere the felt tip to the applicator tool. Step two. Apply several colors of alcohol ink and one or two drops of the mixative. Nope. This is the mixative. All right, so let me put this aside. We'll put that here. All right, we'll just put some colors on, see what happens. And it says one or two drops. So we'll just go one, two, two drops, two or three. I don't know, let's put just two. 
If I need more, I'll need more. This is, that was the red pepper. Uh, this is the sunshine yellow. One, two, three. Oops. Oops. We're not going to worry about it for now. One, two, three. Now I'm mixing them all, all over the place. So, yeah, let me get a wet one because I'm going to need it wherever I hid them. I'm just using baby wipes. I'm just going to take out a couple in case I need them, which I probably will because I've got ink all over here already. Okay, uh, and the mixative. Alrighty. And we'll just add one, two, three. Okay, I should have put three red, but I didn't. All right, next step, stamp the ink tool directly to the glossy cardstock until covered. So we'll just do this all over the place. Oh, I should have got a, uh... sorry guys. I'm going to... Let me get some parchment paper just so I'll feel a little bit better about it. Although it doesn't matter because my glass mat is there. So let's just go all over the place. As it said, until it's all covered. Do I know what I'm doing? Absolutely not. I am just going all over it, as they said. As the ink starts to dry, you can see it's getting smaller little splatters smaller little splatters, but it's a cool kind of thing. As you can see, the bigger ones Okay, now step four. Add several drops of blending solution to the tool and stamp over the background to blend. So this is the blending tool. It says add several drops. It doesn't say how many. So to me, several is more than two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. And step over to blend. Maybe I'm not doing it right. I'm stamping. They didn't say to smush it. They just said they just said to blend it. I wonder if I smushed it. Let's smush the sides. <laughs> I guess that's not a good idea. Okay. As I said, I'm just using the parchment paper so that when I go over the edges. Okay, stamp over the background to blend. I don't know how much blending I'm doing here, but that is as blended. And this, I guess, takes practice on how you want to, the colors to go. And step five is stamp the image with archival ink, which I forgot to take out. Here's my black archival ink. And let it dry completely. Okay. So they have taken the uh, trees and the words. So we'll do the same thing on this. Oh. when they're new it's always hard to pull off the uh, backing and who knows how long it's been sitting around right okay here's my block 
Let's see if I can take these off. Sorry, I don't even know if I'm in frame, but oh my goodness, that was hard to get off. We'll just, I hope I'm in frame. Sorry, guys, I hope I'm in frame. I have to stand up to see if I am. This may be a long, boring video. Wow, this is stuck on there. Am I ever gonna get it off? I think you have to have muscles. You know, because like I say, we don't know how long ago this was packaged. So it's coming, sorry. It's coming, but it's friggin' hard. Oh my God. If you have arthritis or weak hands and you have trouble, this is going to be a real pain. You might need to get somebody, a neighbor, a child, a husband, a friend, a stranger walking down the street to help you pull it off. Oh my God, I should have done this before. I didn't think it was gonna be this bad. Wow, talk about stuck. Okay, archival ink. How are we doing so far here? Okay, I got my archival ink. I like putting the pad on it. That way I can see if I'm missing any spots. Seems to be okay. I hope I'm not hitting the... Am I saying it right? A gate? Okay. Here is my mess. Here is the stamp. Now they've turned it this way. I am going to put it right here. And we're gonna mush it down. Mush, 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 mush it down. I didn't even check to see if it was center, if it was whatever. Whoa. The archival ink doesn't like uh, parts of whatever the glossy thing is. Whatever the glossy mess is. I'm just wiping this off. I'm not stamping again. I suppose if you had a mister, a misty uh, tool, you could probably put it on again. I'm just taking this off. And I'm supposed to just let it dry. Now, while that is drying, I'm going to pull off these other... Oh. Some of them are easier to get off. I guess maybe because it was a, a big one. Ugh. Wow. Own your dreams. Own your dreams. I like this Paris one. Yeah, I can tell it's going to be hard to get this one off too. Let's see if we can just kind of hold it and rip it off. Ugh. My gosh, and I'm usually pretty strong. Usually, I mean, if I can open a can of pop, I'm not a can of pop, a bottle of pop or a jar of pickles, surely I can pull this apart. But it is not easy, guys, it is not easy. I'm gonna let that dry. Yeah. Never thought, there we go, there we go. Got that one off. Now for the butterflies. As I say, we don't know when this was boxed. It could have been a couple of years ago. All right, the stamps are ready to rock and roll. All right, so we're gonna put that aside. I am not impressed here, um, and I did press down. 
and so the adventure begins. Yeah. Okay, so there are missing spots. I thought I had rubbed it down well. So that could take practice. Are you still with me, guys? <laughs> uh, oh my God. Okay, next, monoprint. Okay, we're going to use my glass mat for this one. I'm just going to, because this was some of the uh, ink that came off before I put the, uh, before I put the um, parchment paper down. So we're just wiping this off. It's a glass mat, therefore, um, yeah, it works well. All right, apply, oops, here we go, for the monoprint. Apply several drops of alcohol ink and two to three drops of mixture to craft sheet or a slick surface. So if you happen to have a certain kind of sheet. Okay, let's go with the yellow and the blue. Apply several colors of ink. Okay, well, let's just apply. Didn't say how. I'm going by the picture here. <sighs> let's go with the yellow. Let's go with the blue. I guess I could have done a better job than that. Let's go with the yellow and the blue. And then it says, um, and two to three drops of mixative. So again, that's the gold one. So let's add, we gotta go fast because um, the uh, alcohol ink dries pretty quickly. All right, we'll get another sheet of paper. Next step, that's step two. Step three, swipe the paper through, woohoo, through the mixture. So let's swipe it so we could do it any way we want. I have done this before with different things. I've actually also just kind of mushed it. Mush is a word in artwork. It's almost drying. See, alcohol ink dries so quickly. All right. Now, I didn't mush it all over, but it's almost dry anyway. Step four, repeat the swiping until the desired look is achieved. Okay, well, I guess our desired look is achieved. <laughs> You know, when it comes to art, whatever is your, whatever is your look, your passion, whatever you like is fine. So I think I'm going to um, link my old video to this. Let me do some butterflies. I kind of like these butterflies. We'll get the archival ink because that Alcohol ink dries awfully. Well, you know, alcohol dries very quickly. So let's get this on here. And let's stamp right here. Again, I'm pressing all, oops, that's, it moved. It moved, sorry. It moved. Let me do it again, and we'll put it right in the up in the center here. Press down, give it a second. One of the things that I've forgotten to do is sometimes when you're using different types of papers, it's a good idea to kind of hold your stamp down or whatever it is you're using just to give it a chance to soak into whatever it's soaking into. So we're gonna do three of them. What the heck? I could also put something else on there, but I'm not. I'm just going to put, I think they put another stamp on there, but I am just going to use this one. And up. Okay, and we'll clean this off. 
and wipe it dry. And again, we have to let it dry. I could use my heat tool, but because it's not in the instructions, I'm not going to. So here we have the next one. And the pattern can be any way you want. You know, it's up to you. So we're going to sit that over and let... Uh, one thing I like about archival ink is that it's permanent. Um, it just takes a bit to dry. So that was called monoprint. Next, we're going to go with ombre. Well, that is interesting. Okay. Take another paper. All right. Step one, adhere felt to the um, ink applicator tool. So we'll take this one off and add a new one on. And I noticed that there's a bit of a fuzzy side and I that's the one I put down. The first one I don't know if you can see, it has a lot of fuzzies. I thought I cut them all off, but that's probably from pulling it off. All right, so for the ombre, adhere the felt to the applicator and apply one color of alcohol ink to the applicator. All right, what color should, now they're using blue. Should we follow it? Let's do that, let's follow it. Okay, and they have applied a little bit there, like that, kind of like a line. Stamp the ink tool directly on the top of the glossy paper. We'll look at the drops. So, let's, um, again, sorry, I'm going to get my, I'm going to get my parchment paper. I'm going to turn it around here and just, Smush it up and down as they suggested. Okay, I've done that. Although they said stamp it, I smushed it, sorry. I guess you could stamp it, get a better effect. No, nope, now it's gonna come out darker. So I'm gonna leave the smush, I'm gonna leave it. They suggested stamp. Okay, third step, once I've done this mess, Apply the blending solution over the ink felt to lighten the color. So this is the blending solution. So we're going to put it over the ink. Doesn't say how much. We'll find out in a minute. Should always keep the tops on. Okay to lighten the color and stamp the bottom half. Well, mine is the top half and I am again not doing it the way they said, which is typical of me. So instead of stamping, I'm stretching it. Now, step four, replace the felt tool with the blending solution over the entire Okay, so I've got to change number. I've done this. I hope I'm in frame, guys. I hope I am. Yep, okay. That was step three. Step four, replace the felt on the tool and stamp. Okay, well, first let's replace this, the... <laughs> Let's replace it. I don't know which side is up and which side is down. Replace it and stamp the blending solution over the entire. Okay, let's see. This is the blending solution. I don't know how much we're supposed to put on there, but let's see. Now, they said stamp. Let me see if I can smush it. It doesn't seem to do much to me. It lightens it a little bit, kind of spreads it a little bit. If I stamped it, I would get a different texture, wouldn't I? Maybe something that's uh, blending it a little better, but I kind of like the streaks, guys. I kind of like the streaking.
Okay, so this is basically what it's showing you is that this, this uh, alcohol blending solution, when you put it on, it lightens, it lightens the, um, the color so that you can get that ombre and actually lets it blend. Blend and blend and blend, sorry. So you get the darker through to the lighter. And like I say, if I had stamped it, it might have had a major effect on it. But personally, I kind of like the stripes. Okay, where is that? Here it is. Now you can stamp an image. Well, I'm going to use the Paris one. I think that's dry. I'm pretty sure it dries so fast. Alcohol ink dries very, very quickly. All right. Can you see me in here? Yeah. Okay. Sorry, guys. I just never know. I have to keep standing up. Standing up, standing up. Okay, I don't know how this one's going to blend in. Blend in, stamp, sorry. Can't even use the proper words. Now, I think I'm gonna turn this one. Oh, it's all dry. I'm gonna turn this one this way. Turn the Paris here and put it right in the center just because, because I like it. Cool. Now, um, I could do so much more with this, but that's all I'm going to do simply, be, I mean, I would, if I had my way, I'd be stamping all kinds of stuff with all my other stamps that I have, but we're just gonna follow. Now, they use butterflies and own your own dreams. I just put the Paris one on, just because I like it. So that is number three, cool. Number four, ombre, we're going to plaid. Ooh, this is going to be fun. Now let's see if this is, yeah, this is all dry. So we need to take the pad off again, add another pad on, if I can get it off now see it's got a lot of fuzz so i am all i'm doing is cutting it but i don't want to cut it over the paper so i'm just cutting off that excess fuzz just in case it affects anything that's pretty much off there's still a little bit of fuzz i'm not really fussy on these Okay, the next one is stripes. Now, we can, we might as well use, oh, here we go, the stripes, the plaid. We're going to use the red because that's what's in the book, and it would look better. So, adhere a felt to the ink. I've just done that. Apply several drops, it doesn't say how many, several drops of ink and blending solution in a row onto the ink applicator. So, you put them right across so let's do that are you having fun yet guys are you having fun yet okay we've got that on there i don't know how much i'm supposed to put on there better because they're ink you really need to put the tops on oh wait a minute now is this the bl oh this is the blending solution okay here we go and we're supposed to put it right on top of that all right, let's cover it again, as I said, because alcohol. Now, step three, hold the tool flat on the edge of the glossy and swipe the tool across in one direction. Well, that shouldn't be too hard, right? <laughs> and then we'll go down a little bit. And we'll go down a little bit. Obviously, I'm not good at this. Okay, turn the cardstock and swipe in the opposite direction. Uh, let me just dab this off here. Sorry, guys. 
All right. I'm not very good at this, so obviously I need practice. Swipe. So here we're getting the plaid. We're getting the plaid. Yeah. In the opposite direct to create a plaid. Yeah, well, my plaid is not very good. Obviously, it's, <laughs> it's crooked. I guess we can go over it a few times so that I don't look too much like an idiot. Go across. I could probably do with practice, right guys? With practice. So this is our plaid. Oops, I moved the paper. And then stamp the image on here. Okay, let me just make sure this alcohol ink is wiped. Yeah. All right, we didn't do the uh, own your dreams, so let's do that one. Own your dreams, that's dry now, so we'll go here. Why you would own your dreams, let's do it up here. Own your dreams. Lifting it off is the biggie. I mean, that's that's the part that's really, really tough because um, it can slide, which it did. <laughs> uh, are we having fun yet, guys? Are we having fun yet? Oh, let's do this one again just because, just because we can. So we're gonna do the trees again. Let me see if I can make sure that I get it inked right across all of the trees. Let's put them right on this side. Hold it down. Press, press. Oh, I got a little bit of ink on there. I hope it doesn't come through. Oh, it's on this side. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay. Are we having fun yet? Yeah, see, again, um, it didn't quite come out as clear, and yet there was lots of ink. So I don't know if I should have, you know what? I think I should hold it longer. So that may be something to remember when you're using alcohol inks on the glossy paper to make sure that you hold it for a while and allow the ink to set into whatever it is you're working on. And that is it. That is the last one. There was four, so we'll go through this again. <laughs> what do you think, guys? What do you think about this? I mean, it's kind of fun. If you've never tried it before, I have played around with it before, but obviously I'm still not good at it. So this was the first one we did. This is called the agate, where you're stamping different colors and then you stamp over it and it is dry. So that was the first one. The second one was smushing, <laughs> where you put the paper down and you smush it through the ink to get some sort of pattern and I just stamped it with with the um, butterflies. The third one was the ombre. I did not do a very good job, but it is dark here and lighter here. And again, it comes with practice. And the last one, again, <laughs> comes with practice. That is the plaid and the stamping. And again, with the stamping, I think we need to hold it a little bit longer to allow the ink to adhere to the paper. So there we go, guys. There is the little review testing. This is fun. Um, 
I wish I had some, and I might have somewhere, but I wish I had some um, photo paper. But you know what? Give me a second here. Okay. So if you'd like, you can stop here and go on. And uh, thank you so much for joining me. I took out two um, pieces of cardstock. It's just regular white cardstock. And I want to try a couple of things. I know that um, it will be different. So let's just give it a try. Now we're going to go back. I don't know if you're supposed to reuse them or not, but we're going to. Here is the multicolored one. We're going back to the agate. Let's go back and just show you what. Now, definitely it's going to have a different uh, look than this because uh, this paper is um, different from the glossy. This is just plain white cardstock. It's got a little bit of black on there, but that's okay. All right, so let's just take a couple of drops of the colors again. So we'll go with the red, three drops of the red, three drops of the blue. I'm trying to do it sort of in the same spots. Three drops of the yellow. I'm gonna get ink and stuff all over me. One, two, three, whoops, that was four. Okay, and what was the other thing it needed? Uh, of the mixture, which is this gold one here. And it said two to three drops. One, two, three, whoops, four. I'm a little bit different. Now I'm supposed to take it and let's get my parchment paper again and just stamp all over and just see what kind of effect we can get on regular cardstock. Not everybody's got Tim Holtz's um, um, papers. So let's just see how this is going to work. You'll notice that it's getting smaller and smaller. I really like the smaller dots, don't I? The smaller dots are rather cool. I rather like that. I think if I was to do this on any of my stuff with different colors, of course, um, I think I would love to have, um, you know, some antique looking with a little bit of gold. I'm still going here. I know that the ink will start to dry soon because it is, oh, that is kind of a cute splatter. And you'll see it's already dry. It's already dry and I think this is pretty much done as well. So that is an effect. Now I think what you can do if you don't want that big blotchy is to maybe not stamp as hard or stamp it out and then when you want the smaller little speckles on there to go and then we do some stamping. Oh, let's just do let's just do the butterflies. I like butterflies. Let's just do the butterflies. And again, I'm using the archival ink. I find that uh, it's a little bit more permanent, but you can use anything you want, anything you want. And again, don't forget, this is cardstock. It is not, that's regular, it's not the glossy that came with the kit, okay? So let's, let's put the butterflies off to one side here. Now, <laughs> they're crooked and I just, oh, it's my fault. I just lifted it up. Oh, it didn't look too bad. I'm kind of one of these people who like to uh, try different things. 
doesn't have to be perfect, but if you're doing a journal or if you're doing uh, pages for your journal, you don't always want everything to be perfect, right? There we go. Okay, so another fun, fun thing to do. So it just goes to show you that you don't have to have the glossy paper. You know, that turned out pretty good. Now here, now here is the, where are you? Here it is. Here is the difference. Obviously, this is matte, a matte finish, and that's a glossy. Oh, I gotta stand up, make sure I'm in, in frame here. Yeah, so that's the glossy one, and that's the matte one that I just did. So you can apply all of these techniques that we did. You can apply them to any uh, paper. It just depends on what you're looking for. It depends on what you're doing. You know, it, everything depends on your tools, on the colors of your inks, and uh, having fun. So I hope you enjoyed this little bit of a review tutorial kind of thing um i hope you enjoyed it i hope it wasn't too long and uh yeah let me know what you think in the description below if you haven't joined my my channel i would really really appreciate that that would be great thumbs up would be wonderful just to say hello and i liked your video and of course i also have memberships if if that's of interest to you no obligation and the other uh, little if you want to buy me a cup of tea i do have a a kofi link in the description where you can support my channel by uh, helping me out to buy all of these goodies where we can review them on camera all right guys thanks for joining me we'll see you again next time bye for now